So, a while back, there was an April Fool's joke saying that um, Zeus was bringing out a uh, handheld. And then it went, no, it's a joke. It goes, and then it was, no, the joke is that the joke's the joke, and we're actually bringing out a handheld. So, the Azus Rock Ally, priced at £699 or $699, will release in June. The Windows based Steam Deck uh, lacks the usual ROG tack, which is fine because they're going for getting themselves in the market first time around. Um, the final Azus Rock Ally details slipped today. As Azish confirmed the pricing and June 13th release date of its Steam Deck bothering handheld Windows gaming PC. And honestly, it's not as expensive as we thought, given the premium position of ROG brand, monitors, keyboards, £699 in the UK, and £699, £699 in the US is more than the top most Steam Deck model. But the ROG Ally has promising. Uh, general, uh, promisingly, uh, as high as specs. Dry mouth. I need to get a drink. Um, so yeah, sorry, I've made some notes on this one because the, the the article's a bit uh, starts going into other things. And plus, you need to know some bits. It's a seven inch 1080p uh, LCD touchscreen, 120 hertz uh, refresh rate with adaptive sync technology. It has a new AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, which is based on Zen 4 architecture. Has eight cores and 16 threads. It has 512 gigabyte SSD storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM for memory, a USB port, a mini SD slot, a PCIe port, a headphone jack for connectivity and expansion. Uh, it has a sleek ergonomic design with black and red color scheme, backlit ROG logo. Uh, has built in kickstand because everything has a built in kickstand, makes it sound like a motorbike. Um, it, the ROG Ally has a sharper display. Um, it's it's weird because I've got one set of notes that says 1080p and the other one that says 720p. So I imagine it's probably designed around 720p, but it can do 1080. So uh, the ROG Ally can run any Windows compatible game out of the box, while the Steam Dome can only run stuff from your Steam library. So it means if you've got other games like uh, Fallout 76, that's a really terrible example, something that isn't on Steam, Epic game, something from the Epic Games library, you can run that on there. So it makes it a lot more useful. Also means you'll be able to, if you've got an Xbox Games Pass, you can use that. Games Cloud bits, you can use that. Um, it has a really shit battery life of two hours. Welcome back to the Game Gear era. Um, I had one of them. I loved it, but it literally just, just ate batteries. Um, the ROG uh, doesn't have a dedicated uh, interface like a Steam OS. So I imagine they'll probably have to do something to, to get around that. Um, the rise of the handhelds, man. This is, uh, this is interesting. Regarding the interface, the thing is, though, you can you can set Steam OS to go into gaming mode. So there's there's your there's your dedicated interface straight away. So it will just boot mm -hmm. up straight into Steam into game mode, and there's, oh, yeah. there's your interface. So. You would just use it the same as a Steam Deck, then. Um, True. Just sound impressive, I must admit. Uh, it, 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 I, I think that they are... That it sounds like they're doing it all close to cost, if that makes sense. I think yeah. that, that per unit, they're probably going to make like $10, $20 per unit because they want to get... They're going for... Don't laugh at me. They're going for market penetration. Um, I will not I said, laugh. Don't, <laughs> not laugh at market. So I think they're they're going for, for for market penetration on this, so they can um they can actually take a chunk out of the Steam Deck era because they I think they're looking at it and it's like, well, just do the whole lot, just hmm. do the whole lot because they're you know like I've got I think I've got like eighty three Epic games that I've been collecting ever since Epic Store started up. Hmm. So every Thursday, pop on there, status the car, come back. Um, still haven't checked that. That thing hasn't improved that much. I'll be honest with you. Since it launched, which it needs to. Um, so it's it's interesting, and it might make things a bit more accessible. Is it going to get red hot when you use it? Is the next question. <sighs> on your laps. Ah, jeez, that's what it needs a kickstand. Um, yeah. Have you, have you ever held a, a Steam Deck? Have you held one yet? No. I've seen one. I've seen they, one in the shops, and I looked at it, and it's nice like a bit of kit. It's it's huge. Yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. 
Can you plug it into a TV? So that's my question. Yes. I can plug it into a TV and yes. play it. So if I you, can take it out with me, that'd be cool. Oh, you can, you can literally put it on your desk, add a mouse, a keyboard, monitor, and just use it as a PC if you want to. You can literally format it and put Windows 10 on there and then just use it as PC. And I imagine that's exactly what you can do with, with that uh, Ace as well. well. Because I I mean, look, look at the specs like of it. it. It literally is a gaming PC. Mm. Yeah, it's see. see this is the conversation me and you've had a couple of times. Where I'm I'm so tempted to get a gaming PC. Just get a Steam Deck. Just, yeah, just get a Steam Deck. Yeah, and then you no, can I'm, take it on the train with you, or wherever. I, mean, take, I go up to London. I'm not taking the train. With me, I get mugged. <laughs> I'll oh, be well, yeah. gone faster yeah. faster than anything. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just tempting fate, um, but. I like it. I think it's it's cool. Do they only do that them. one model? Because the, the the thing is with Valve, they do three models, don't they? The Steam Deck, each with different um, storage capacity. And if you have the second or third tier, you get the hard shell case as well, which is very nice. So do know, Asus just, just do that one? Seven hundred pound. Uh, if I was if I was Asus, I would literally do the one model and then just change the storage around, um, just from a business perspective. Because patching, sorting which out is what, things, which is what Valve have done. Yeah. And the thing is, with 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 the with the uh, Steam Deck one as well, you could go for the lowest tier and then buy. Um. Can can you get one terabyte? Super fast SSD cards now. I think you can, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you can. So you just, yeah, I think so you just whack one, one of those in. So you just whack one of those in. That's it. Job done. Mm. So I'm looking at that, and, and 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 my question was, can you plug it in and and use it as a as a uh, a games thing? And it, yeah, uh, there USB, is it's USB C port, isn't it? So even yeah. if you you can't do that, you just buy a, a USB C hub, and They're then you gonna... just plug everything into that. They're going to um, release what looks to be so, uh, ROG XG Mobile. Basically, you plug the, the handheld bit into that, and then you link that into your monitor. Wow. It's and a that, docking station, basically. It's a docking station, but it yeah. also it's sort of within that little docking station thing. It's got a GeForce RTX 4090. <laughs> Hang on a second. I love the way you go, oh. TX. <laughs> Let's have a nose at the uh, four, have a nose at the forty ninety. Did you say? Yeah. Jeez. Sorry. A forty ninety. Yeah, you see. That's top tier. Uh, if you're looking, right, so I'm looking here. Looking at this, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you got the. It's the, on this page. D or twenty thingy. Game anywhere. Yeah. Da, da, da. See, that's the bit I saw. I was like, oh, that's, that's so, so pro time full yeah. time gaming. So you got that. Yeah. And all games. So all the games. Armored crate. Looks like nice. This. Does look nice. Does look. It does, does look nice. I do like it in white as well. That's nice. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it looks oh, like they're doing two different specs there as well. Oh yeah. So you got the Zen One, and then the Zen. Ah. Uh, so what's the price? Zen different? One Z. Yeah. Exactly. We'll have a look in a second. Yeah. So all three. Oh, has he got um, has he got LED lights? Does that light up underneath the thumbstick? Did I see oh, that light up there? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Got, it's got a light. Blue too. You can see it on there. <laughs> and then you can also get matching case and matching earbuds as well. It's cool. So, you don't... so if you keep if you keep going, wait. Oh, there's a dock. Oh, there's is a dock. The... Yeah. Oh, okay. this is, is that the dock or the kickstand? That's, oh, that's, yeah, that's oh. not the dock I'm talking about. That's the dock I'm talking about. Oh, external graphics card. Yes. So you can boost the performance by Jesus having that. Jesus Christ. A the, the XG so... Mobile. Wow. Well, surely that docking station is going to be, what, 1,500 quid? It's got to be. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, can I hit buy now? It won't let me hit buy now. It knows that I want it. 
knows that's, that I want it. That's, oh my Jesus! It's on scan.co.uk yeah. and it is yeah. just shy. Yeah. Of two thousand two hundred pounds. Is that for the docking station or is that for the complete kit? For the forty ninety GPU dock. docking station. So it's even more than I, I, I thought then. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that is a serious <laughs> bit of. Well, that's that's kit. top tier. But you don't even need that to have it connected no. to your. Uh, of course, you don't. No. Obviously, you can have the, the control of it you've got there. Oh, there's the cooling. Yeah. Mm, double fan. Yeah, just... The thing is with Asus, I mean, I've, I've, I've had Asus main boards for years, and they're great at adding all these bells and whistles, but just forgetting about them. There you go, full 1080p. It's um yeah, it's just it's looking really impressive. Just it is, and I, I didn't think grand. yeah, I didn't think anybody could uh, do the biz like um, like Valve, but uh, no, no. no literally I they think, just threw the gauntlet down there, didn't they? Yeah, I think just purely on price for me, I think I would go for a second tier um, Steam Deck. Mm. And um, just just buy a high capacity SSD. These will be accessible. Half the can... price, of, which would still be half the price of, of the cost of that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't looked at uh, how much a Steam. I love how they show an Xbox pad though. Uh, it's weird. no. This is weird. That's not an right. Xbox pad. That's a Republic of Games pad configured with the Xbox bit on it. That is. Oh, own... okay. You can. We've still got the. It's still got the Xbox. Yeah. yeah logo though. Yeah. We've an Asus product that's always um, associated with uh, PC gaming, the Elite Master Race. Yeah. It's <laughs> not the best way to refer to yourself as. Um, <laughs> well, if you're going to buy a Steam Deck, both the 64 gigabyte and the 256 gigabyte versions are out of stock. You have to go for the 512 gigabyte version, mm. which is 569 pounds. Mm. And you yeah. do it... get anti glare etched screen, you get exclusive carry case and Steam community profile bundle, and an exclusive virtual keyboard theme. Totes amazing. Okay. Well, yeah. um, I still want a Steam Deck. <laughs> That's a Steam I don't Deck. Know. I think yeah. I, I would. Get, I think I'd get that if I get and money was an object. I'd get that. Oh, absolutely! Because it's, it's got lights, doesn't it? The thumb, the thumbsticks light up, so that's I'm sold. <laughs> to, qu to, to quote don't a friend laugh, of ours, what spices bits on. if it's got good, oh, if blue. it's got bluey blue neon lights, it's cool. Yeah, I think I know who you're on. You're on about there. So yeah, I it's agree. Like Fat man in Thailand. Oh, <laughs> oh,